Yeah. Let's call Township of Lepacon, uh March 18, 2020. Getting the order. Ask everyone to bow their heads for a moment of silence. Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided indicating the time and place of the meeting in accordance with Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975. I'm advertising a notice in the Star Gazette and the Express Times and by posting a copy on the bulletin board in the municipal building. Roll call, please. Councilman Valcaro. Here. Councilman Toledo. Here. Councilman Wright. Here. Council President Pryor. Here. Here. Uh, need a motion to come out of executive session? Motion. Session Ekin. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Public comment agenda items only? Lou, well, you're not coming up? Are <laughs> All right. Introduce the 2020 budget. You got it. Let's have it. Okay. Um, we're here to introduce the 2020 low pack on budget. Uh, this year, the emphasis was placed on paying down our debt, specifically the solar panels. With a he healthy surplus, we were able to do that. The 2020 budget is an accurate representation of the service, public safety needs of the community. Additional monies have been allocated to repair sinkholes and sewer lines. The total appropriation for the 2020 budget are nine million seven hundred two two hundred five point forty one. We anticipate revenues of four million one hundred sixty one nine twenty one point three eight, which leaves us with an amount to be raised of five million five forty two eighty four point zero three, and this equates to a two cent increase on a home assessed at. Um, 231000 the impact would be $49 for the whole year for the local share of taxes. Any comments, questions? Yeah, I had a um, couple comments for the record, since there's nobody here. Um, and of course, yeah, the mayor and I formed the finance committee this year. And we worked with uh, both the administrator and Kim, and I'd like to thank them for their assistance. And I had three broad goals. You already mentioned one. One was limiting the increase to two cents. The other one was not increasing debt. We were paying off debt, and we were going to develop a capital program that was kind of, uh, we took on the debt we discharged. Um, were we able to do that? Is, yeah. Can I say that? Yes. All right. And third goal was to maintain a 12% surplus going into the year in accordance with our policy. That's the upper end of our policy. Were we able to do that? Yes, we were. Now, I had one other question. Uh, we talked about finding a little more money for the fire department. Were we able to do that? Um, in reference to? I said if we could hold that number, if we had any left over, could we find a few more bucks for the fire department? They um, specifically for a purpose. For well, they put in for 140. Well, we 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 said 100, and I guess my request was when we got all the final numbers in for the capital. Mm -hmm. If we had any room left in holding the line, the line. Could we find a few more dollars for the fire department? And, well, this capital does not represent an increase in their budget for the capital, but um, we allocated sixty thousand for the vehicle. Yep. Yeah. The vehicle came in at thirty-four thousand. Yeah, so that, I think the sixty thousand they have to outfit it too. Okay, but still thirty-four thousand. Correct. 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 And. Uh, well, we got them here. Let's take advantage of it. Oh, okay. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, yeah. So, thirty-four thousand for the vehicle alone, and then you know, upfit it right with emergency lights, a command cabinet, and do radio swap. So we're going to be close to that sixty thousand mark. The vehicle mm -hmm. alone, yes, came at thirty-four, but we have right. to do all the upfitting okay. Okay. to it. Sure. So. But the total cost of the vehicle and the fit out is going to be below below the sixty, right? Fit. 57. So the, the difference you'll have to apply towards it, towards some, maybe some of the other stuff that we couldn't fund this year. Right. And we already spoke about the doors. 
<coughs> we spent Correct. a little over two thousand. There was a budget of ten, so and I think you told Brian that you were going to delay right. that. Yeah, I, I'll have to work with what I have to see what I can prioritize to get fixed. Right. But you know, the hundred and thirty-three that I requested was obviously for the doors to be fixed for right. standby generators. Obviously, that's what I really want is standby yeah. generators. But well, I'm going to have to. There's other stuff that I need to get as well. Structural firefighting gear. Well, without that, you don't have a fire department. So right. I need to get that over generators. Right. Well, then <laughs> at the the board's or the council's request, I mean, I can find you money. That's not an issue. It's not going to be in your capital, but I will find you money. Well, I don't want to come in. I mean, we'll see how okay. it unfolds, right? But um, right. excuse me, the way the committee looked at it, Chief, is um, we look at the increase over last year, and, and we had these broad goals that I talked about. Within those broad goals, I think everybody had to take a little haircut <laughs> on their request. And um, actually, yours wasn't as big as some departments, so, uh, you know, the pain was spread a little bit, but we tried to be fair. So we'll do what we can to find some extra money. I appreciate that. <coughs> if, so. you're, if you're looking straight at capital type items, you yeah. still have about $70,000 in general capital fund balance that we didn't bring into this budget. Uh, if you had to do an ordinance and fund a vehicle that was less than that, you could fund it completely from the general capital fund balance. Mm -hmm. All right, so we, we could adopt this budget, budget as is, and then we may have room to do a little more. All right. I think the, do the doors are important. You're talking number two for the doors, and you also was there one at number one also? No, all the doors were at number two. Okay. Um, the, the garage door that's not operational, that has to get fixed. Yeah. So it I already can. okayed Mr. Weeks to go ahead and get okay. that fixed for us. But upgrading them as in wind's coming in, rain's coming in, you're, right. you're paying for the bills. Are those are we talking throwing. about the original building or the addition? They're this is number two, the original building. Okay. Yeah. Are they original doors in that building? I, yeah, they look like original door openers and doors. So the building was full on in seventy-five. Yeah. Forty-five so. years. Okay. Yep. Um, I, I we had a mild winter, so um, what was our, our budget? Actually, uh, I cut the salt down. If you're speaking specifically yes. to that, uh, last year was ninety. Um, we didn't use all that, so okay. I transferred it to our storm trust. Okay. Um, so we have that to avail ourselves. And this year? This uh, this year I cut it down to 60. What, what was the actual? Last year? No, this year. This past winter. Uh, what we, spend, we are... What we spend we salt? He filled up now, and I believe we have an open order for 30000 I don't know what we actually spent on. We do a blanket purchase order, right. and it, it was for, I believe, 30000 Doesn't mean that we need to spend it only when we need right. okay. for the storms. As we all know, salt is tough. Yeah. Yeah. Much this year, next year, you could no. be. No. no. Uh, and I, okay, yeah. 68. John was saying. What, 68? What's that? Paid or charged to salt. Last year. Last year. Last mm -hmm. winter. In 19, mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. And this year? We have 60000 budgeted. Right. Yeah, There's I, also a trust fund that has storm recovery, like Kim was saying. Right. She moved money into that as well. Right. So if there's a state of emergency for a storm or something, you can tap into that as well if you need salt or grid yeah. or even overtime. I, I will email you that figure. Okay. I know it's a blanket purchase order. Um, and we did that at the beginning of the year. Usually. And plus, we save that all the time. Oh, you, you save on everything. Turn on everything. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Right. So that's why originally I had budget pretty high. And then we weren't getting any storms, so I backed that number down. Right, okay. But we do have a cushion in the trust, so that's kind of where we want to be. Right. And also, too, I, I think, uh, Joe, we are not re relying on any kind of sewer, yep. utility, surplus money, anything this year <coughs> in this budget. Good. Good. I think, you know. I think we pretty much met all our goals. I mean, Joe and I said. Yeah, that. Um, I know <laughs> if nobody's here that's going to ask about it. People have about the sewer budget. That'll be the, with this out of the way, that'll be the next thing we look at. We have a new contract with Phillipsburg. We have uh, some savings involved. 
we have to review where we are with everything. And, um, you know, my goal is uh, if we can have a modest decrease this year, we will. Mm -hmm. That's good. I think you guys have really turned the corner and done an excellent job oh, over the last several years. I mean, fund balance is at 2.8 million at the end of 19, mm -hmm. and you were around what 500,000 or even at that uh, just about four years ago. So I think you've done a great job in turning the corner. There's been a couple of things like the tax appeals that you don't have any control over that had to be bonded for. That you're paying off each year yep and we really like to see you keep the money in the budget next year to continue paying down the debt service even when this uh, solar project is done being paid off rather than pulling that money out of the budget leave it in oh no 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 no, no. All the other <laughs> yeah we're yeah. yeah. just going to keep going roll over to the next debt yeah. yeah. yep you know there, there, there's one thing that could be affected this year as you probably know and that's the appeal on the mall, the tax appeal on the mall. Well, that's that's why you need to leave the money. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, so, so, I mean, we're in the middle of that. And, uh, is, that is that the only one right now? Is the, the mall is a, a yeah, tax we, appeal? We have some other taxes, but nothing significant. Yeah, we're not at the mall. We have the big one with, that we're paying, paying down every year now. Yeah. With the that was, uh, so. Talking the with the uh, tax assessor, I believe it was last year he decreased the value i think it was five hundred thousand i think that's what I, I think i told you and then he decreased a little bit in 2020. so every little bit helps that's and, and, and now that he has no tenants the owner of the mall he's going to come back again yep yeah so but he, but our appeal every year what's that they file an appeal every year yeah our, our portion is knocked down i i it's my understanding that our assessment reflected that our assessment does reflect that the, the value the issue in this tax appeal is what is the highest and best use of the property okay that's the issue I don't want to get into detail because we're ongoing litigation so they say well you know you can't tax this as a shopping center and they're probably right because it's not the highest and best use so we're looking at what we call the highest and best use what are the other uses can you put a hotel there? Can you put this and that, things of that nature? So that's that's the issue. We have a very good appraiser working with us, planning planner working with us, and we're, as you know, we're working in concert with Pohacon, who has uh, a bigger portion of the mall than we do. So it's an ongoing battle. Good. Does anything come into play with tax appeals with the fact you bought the property and did nothing to it to enhance it or to attract? Well. The value of the buildings is basically nil right now. At least the buildings that were knocked down were outmarched. So it's just a matter of the value of the land. We're looking at that. Uh, you know, when someone buys a house, and let's presume, presume they spend $200,000 for a house, and they let it go, okay, and it, it depreciates because it's, it, it's run down and so forth. Uh, unless it's like deferred maintenance, you, you can appeal that on the basis, well, it isn't worth as much, you know? It's, it's a okay. crazy thing. So it, it, it's the same thing, but we're looking at alternatives because, as we all know, walls are going down in value, and that wall is certainly... <laughs> it's getting that much further. It goes down. <laughs> well, he expedited it because he just threw all the tenants out. Well, yeah, yeah. but he, he had income coming in. in the tax appeal. So, I mean, there's no doubt in our, my opinion, that there's, uh, there's going to be a different highest and best use other than a shopping center. Point anyway, two. I don't want to get into too much. Uh, yeah. Sorry, but I, I, at some point, be happy to come in in a closed session and let me get some more detail on the time as a right. preview. Katrina, I'll let you know. We'll come in and discuss. I, I think that would be helpful. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But right now, we're still getting discovery information. All right. Thank you. Let me go to the other, one of the other things with the budget, too, is we've stabilized. We've had you here now for a couple of years. We're not, you know, it was quite the mess for quite a while. Interims and people that didn't work out. And so, anyway, so thank you. Mm -hmm. I got a team. Last thing on the budget is that you are in a state exam year. So 
state will be taking a close look at your budget. We'll send them all the documents. We'll have it all that down. Mm -hmm. They are on schedule. So your meeting on April 15th is when you would adopt the budget. Uh, they have been getting back to us, but today's day and age, who yeah. knows if the state's going to close up shop mm -hmm. for a couple of days or not. I don't know. So that's the only outlier out there. Normal year, it would be no problem. April 15th. 15, yeah. Okay. okay. So, oh, put, uh, yeah. So. There's something that they're extending by are. one month. Yeah. The introduction and, and adoption right. by one month. Um, so we're looking in May. There's no, there's never a penalty for you if you didn't introduce and adopt in their timeline anyway. Right. So it's only a best practice type of thing. Right. And it could be uh, longer. You're in great shape. Okay. We don't want to I, I just, I'm yeah. going to correct you. My first year with Bear McKay, we were all going to be personally fined. We were in August and didn't oh, have wow. a budget yet. Yeah, it was late. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so they do have a hammer if you're stupid but about it. Ever was. Yeah. I think what well, we can be proud of what we've done, we, we need to look down the road too. And we can't just sit up here and pat ourselves on the back because we've got, <clears throat> there's just a ton of work to be done out there. Even with the tax appeals, you know, we can put more aside, we can divert money out of fund balance to fund tax appeals, yeah. have a, a reserve for that, build up your storm reserve. Yeah, but I start thinking about, you know, the, the road thing's never going to stop. We have no fire way. trucks that are getting older that, you know, it just keeps going on and on. It's tough to be paid as you go. But as you work down that day, well, I'll tell you what, if we could ever get the pay as that would be my goal. Yep. Because yep. that's the way I operate personally, pay as you go. Let's get rid of the debt. And Absolutely. I got to send one guy that sees it differently. Because when you pay as you go, you, you buy a 20 year improvement, and the people who live here today are paying for it. And the people who move in get 19 years of use and they don't contribute. So, I mean, you have to look at that's things. True. That's true. And you have to control your debt. That's why we have debt limits. It has to be manageable. But uh, the pay as you go is not all, is not necessarily the fairest way to do it. You know, you got it. What was your percentage on your bands? 1.45? Yes. We got lucky. Money's cheap to come mm -hmm. by. So. Yeah. And, and it could be a partial pay-as-you-go, like your equipment and stuff like that, yep. as opposed to the roads that would... Well, roads, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, so. if I, listen, if I was able to pay all my equipment, I would have a lot more money to borrow for the roads. So when he talks about manageable you know, debt, mm -hmm. that would be great. I mean, it's not going to stop. Right. Yeah. It's got to be consistent. Everywhere I look, I could do a road. <laughs> well, so. it, it's always consistent. So, But right now, I, I know the plan is to pave our roads in town. Do we have a rough number? Well, first of all, I mean, I mean, of, of all these roads that we plan on doing? No. No, if I told you that I had to figure it out, I'd be lying. I mean, but you, you start looking at just your development. Some of that development out there's coming up on 25 years. Yeah. You know, so I mean, you know, I know Anna Place has never been done. That's at least 35, maybe 40 years. But there are roads that have been, you know, a grand view. I don't remember how last time grand view was done. Which is right down from Anna Place, and you, you know Fox Farm and all those other ones that we're addressing the outer, outer ones. My my goal would be to get the roads down to the curbed areas because I think you get more bang for your buck with the curbed roads. It's a matter of going in, milling down, and and redoing. There's no curb work. There's no nothing. Um, so that that would be because you know, the other roads they're just they're all over the place. You really don't know what's going to cost like that that block out here off of Fifth Street between uh, Baltimore and 22. What do we have a price on that? Four hundred fifty thousand. If we dug that out and curbed it, oh, I curbed forget what it was. I mean, four hundred fifty thousand for a block. I mean, yeah. we can't yeah. afford it. Yeah. 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 But so. we are doing Plaza, the Plaza neighborhood, mm -hmm. right? James. That's James Albert Plaza. Yeah. Fox Farm. Fox Farm. Rose, Rose Hollow. Red School, roads, Red, those, Red, those, Red School Lane. But those are the roads scheduled for this year. Yes. Where you just mentioned. Yes. Um, so you, we're looking at here a road project for at least for the next five years. I think you just, safe to say that you have to be consistent and plan it out so that no, no. when we're doing it now, whatever ten years down the road. And by the time you get done with what you think you're going to be doing, you're I can tell you that race. Rose Hill Heights, Brinkley Park, Delaware Park were all done in 2007. So you're going to have you're to go right back on them again. Yep. Well, yep. So, right. It's so, a, I mean, it's one of the constant thing. things that you're going to constantly. Be. But right, right now, we these last couple of years we're catching up, just like with all the equipment and stuff. The cars and everything. Yeah, we, we spent a ton of DPW. So, yeah, so yeah. now you just have to be consistent every year. 
okay, we need to replace one or whatever. We can't just no, 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 nothing. no. You can't sit for five and then all of a sudden you're going to buy three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. doesn't work that way. No, they're with the school district. It's so mm -hmm. it's too big of an operation to mm -hmm. to neglect it. Agreed. So anyway, all right. Good. You're good. I'm good. You're good. I'm good. Okay. So we need to introduce. Yeah, me? they're gonna Yeah, okay. we need to introduce the 2020 municipal budget. Do I have a motion. I make that motion. I'll second it. Okay. Councilman Belcaro? Yes. Councilman Theo? Yes. Councilman Wright? Yes. Council President Pryor? Yes. And Mayor Mancucci? Yes. Bye. All right, everybody. Stay Thank healthy. You. Thank you. Thank you. Do our best. Thank you, John. All right, number two is to approve a quote from Gramco to replace the court recording system in the amount of $5,766. I have a question before we deal with the motion. Is is that the same recording system that we use for these meetings? Yes, yeah, right there. So it's, we call it the court, but it's for everything we do here. Yeah. And what's wrong with the old one? Just worn out? Okay. Well, it's... Uh we need a bigger hard drive. There's no more storage on it. It's sluggish. We've been having a lot of problems with it just starting and, you know, getting to the point where it wants to record. So I don't want to wait till we can't record, you know. We how, need to how long have you had this one? 2014. Two, 2014. Six years. Six years? Mm -hmm. And that's about an average life? Well, how often do you replace your, your computer? You know, it's every yeah. The software's changed now, everything. Right. So. Yeah, the problem is everything technologically becomes so obsolete so quick. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So I'm not upset about that. But yeah. It's still a thousand bucks a year when you look at it. Look. Yeah. It's a thousand bucks a year. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. Do we, uh, yeah. Okay. You have a motion on it? Yeah, I'll make that motion. Second. Billy's going to second it. Councilman Balcaro? Yes. Councilman Polito? Yes. Councilman Wright? Yes. Council President Pryor? Yes. Mayor Number three, which is not on the agenda, is a resolution to hire Chapman. We're going to award a professional service contract to Chapman Environmental Services uh, out of Eatontown uh, for the remainder of the term of the contract July 31st this year. Until July 31st? According to their, the quote they submitted okay. with a few adjustments. So the contract doesn't go from uh, January. No. This one goes from. So we're we're really running this guy from March till, till July thirty first. You said. Uh, yeah, and we'll be going out to bid probably in June for a new contract. Right. Okay. Okay. Motion. motion. I'll motion. make that motion again. Second. Councilman Belcaro. Yes. Councilman Polito. Yes. Councilman Wright. Yes. Council President Pryor. Yes. Chairman. Yes, and number four is to allow Beth to advertise for a tax assessor. Motion. Motion. And I'll make that motion. Luke seconded it. Second. Councilman Belcaro. Yes. Councilman Polito. Yes. Councilman Wright. Yes. Council President Pryor. Yes. Chairman. Yes. Consent agenda. Anybody want anything pulled out of there? Well, I don't have to be pulled. I just have a question on number four. Uh, did we? Uh, how many quotes did we get? We got two. Uh, the lowest one is Warren Septic. Uh, there was a difference of about ten dollars. Okay. Came in at the last minute. It is I was going to say because you, you already had Castle on the, the, uh, okay. the last one. Yeah. So. All right. Need a motion on a consent agenda? Uh, I'll make that motion. I got a motion. Uh, Council President, you'll second. Yeah. Uh, Councilman Belcaro. Yes. Councilman Blito. Yes. Councilman Wright. Yes. Council President Pryor. Yes. Yes. Uh, we have one announcement: the public hearing and final reading of the municipal budget is scheduled for Wednesday, April eighteenth. April fifteenth. Fifteenth. Ah. April fifteenth. Yeah. April fifteenth. Text That's it. That's the next that Wednesday after Wednesday. Okay. And it'll be a six thirty exact seven. We could do this at the meeting. It's 28 days you have to wait, so it's always going to fall in between. Uh, you know? And you got to advertise for so many days before you. Uh, you going to go six. The you want to go six thirty and seven that night? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, any public comment, Lou? You're in public. <laughs> You're good. All right. Motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.
Have a good night, Bill. Good night, Bill. Yeah.